Hey guys, me again. Um, right, I suppose this is just part two of this little clean up of the T1100. Uh, basically, the front axle's back on. A bad tyre change, just for an odd one I had lying around. Um, I've used cutting compound and all the frame. Uh, got some paint on the areas that were welded. Right around here. Um, yeah, that's really almost ready to get the wheels on. I'll put some grease on the the stubs. I'll get these wheels on. I've given the engine just a quick clean. Uh, and yeah, battery tray, hood's finished. Uh, I just touched up the areas that had been had rust spots. Um, it doesn't quite match. It's just the same paint I used in this one. But uh, it'll do, it's better than rust anyway. Freshen it up a bit. So I'll see you in a bit. Anyway, that's the front axle rebuilt. Finally back on all four wheels. Uh, I feel a hell of a lot better about things once they're this far along. That all went quite well. A light smear and the grease just inside that pivot just to keep everything smooth. Yeah, pretty good. Anyway, I think it's time for a cold start. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, me starting back to work tomorrow, so uh, I'm going to just shove this one back round out of sight because if I'm away and the gates blow open, anyone can see in, and this little guy's quite stealable. So I'm going to go for a cold start. Reason. Well, let's see, this hasn't moved for oh, two weeks. Battery. I think I do have to do is make sure these battery terminals are good because um, it's cold starting, its glow plugs don't work that well. Well, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Right. Cylinders are no bother to start usually. Uh, I'm just going to work away at this one now. Back in a minute. bad, that can be a resting place for a little while. Let's look back here out of sight. Like I said, I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with this guy yet. I don't think I'll ever cut grass again, at least not with that deck. Uh, it has had a grass catcher of some sort in the back. It's quite a heavy duty axle. Um, and there's a hydraulic point. I'll Wager was for tipping the uh, box to empty the grass out. But yeah, I don't know, I quite like it, but can't keep them all. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's good. That's the exhaust and the hood all fixed up. Scruffy arse steering wheel. Uh, it'll do just now until I find something better. Well folks, that's the job done. It's another one cleaned up. Ready to have a bit of fun with. Like I said at the beginning, it was only ever just a freshen up. Um, but as usual, I got all that trouble and I discover she's got a bad solenoid. So this has got to be a rope start, cold start. Bear with me. Yeah. Bloody typical. Anyway.
the over the hill club. So what they're trying to tell me, bit of throttle, not too much choke. Uh, let's see if I can do this. That was a two-handed job trying to pull starter there, but that's the way the third pull. Uh, she went no problem. Guys, there you go. A quick refurbishment, clean up really, of a Westwood T1100. Uh, that has to be one of the smoothest Briggs engines I've encountered for a while. That's sticking away quite nicely there. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video anyway. It was a, just a clip show. Uh, like I said, there's plenty more to come. Yep, there we go. Anyway folks, thanks for watching. Uh, so, I'll wait to see you, cheerio, so, cheerio.